I could not wait to go home today. And I bet everyone in this crowd can't wait to go home today too. But you need to realize, some people don't get to make it home. You see, when I was 10, I was walking home at night. It was dark, and I had my headphones blasting music, so I was completely unaware of my surroundings. I was so unaware that I didn't realize a group of teenagers was following me home. Fast forward a few minutes later, those same group of teenagers had my 10-year-old body pinned against the wall, and one of them was holding a knife towards me. You see, at the time, I wasn't even scared. Okay, maybe I was a little scared, but I wasn't even, I, the main emotion I felt was anger. I thought to myself, why would young people decide to do this with their lives? And that's why I've decided to speak out. Out of 315 cities, towns, and villages, Colchester is one of the more harder areas to live in. A huge portion of the crime you commit is violence. Now, you see, when I saw this, it surprised me because all the people I've met in Colchester have been kind, optimistic. But just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. It just means you're not looking hard enough. Another thing I noticed is 99 young people like me and many others in this room have sadly lost their lives due to knife crime this year. This shows why it's such an important issue. If you think knife crime won't affect you, it may not, but it might affect your friends, your family, and other people you love. Now, to continue on with my story. <clears throat> Picture me pinned against the wall and a teenager holding a knife against me. They searched my blazer for a little bit until they eventually, they found my phone. They took it and um, they gave it back because it was a Samsung. <laughs> um, <laughs> I walked home that day, a little bit bruised in my ego because no one wanted my Samsung, and I talked to my dad. And what my dad told me, I would like for it to be the final positive message of this speech. He told me, young people are the future. Young people have the capability to do whatever they want if they study hard enough. Young people aren't like adults, as adults have already chosen their path. But as young people, they can see a path and decide to go the complete opposite way. He told me many other things that day, but there's one last thing I want to tell you. He told me young people need to drop their weapons and focus on their lessons. Thank you.